and then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Caesar's. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway! These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <coughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day.
Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not proof. You're not having second thoughts, are you? You there! I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. He keeps his face in two, so we can't see him watching. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Are you James? Aye. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face in. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. He's not like a fish based on land. We're scattered. Fish biscuits.
Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hatham. Have you been topside? Our ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Sure, this is how you want to play it. Dex. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. All right, all right. Everybody hold tight. Here we go. Just like in training, Mitchell. on the other side. Space dead! I'm seeing heavy enemy fire at our drop pad! Copy that, Badger Zero One. Adjusting your trajectory. <laughs> ah! 
Hold on! Mitchell, close the black shield! Come on, Mitchell! Now! Mitchell, now! Now! Setting drop point. Shit! Brace yourselves. Still in one piece. Mitchell, get the door. and link up with Demo Team 1. Yes, sir. Drop on this side. There's a clear spot over here. We'll have to jump down. Everyone get your boosters ready. Remember, short burst to control your fall.
Look at on that turret! Keep those drones off us! Need to find time for the EMP to charge up! They're all over us! Shit! Taking too much damage! Carlos, you know Bowman, right? Carlos. This is Mason. What's up, Carlos? So you get what we need? He will be in here. The plantation. My old plantation. Our attack on the airfield should distract them enough to get you inside. What about the evac? He will have transport waiting for you. Just be there. Excellent. We got company. Saca los papeles. Ahora. Sáldate aquí, puta capitalista. No, Oye, ¿qué es hijo de, ¿De dónde puta? tú eres? I said, where are you from? Just be cool, Woods. Wait. Talking to you. All right. Everything is ready. Gear up, boys. Say about the bar, Carlos. No problem. My men will dispose of the bodies. Occupants leaving their vehicles armed with shotguns. Bowman, Carlos, lay down covering fire. We fight our way through the streets. Mason, on me. Let's go. Check that weapon, soldier! He's down! Clear him out. Move up the streets. Bowman, take your right. Keep 
target eliminated! Into the alley! Get to the oh, car! Yes. Shit! Too many of them! Hold it! Cover our six! Shit! Too many of them! Hold it! Cover our six! Should be in the airfield. Any? Hudson, there's a couple of MG trucks targeting you. 
stuck in his head. He had no idea it was real. How the fuck could he? Kravchenko, when I sliced that bastard open, he saved everyone's ass. When he comes to first, boom. Welcome to the Hanoi Hilton. Six months later, they shipped me over to Da Nang. And this fucking place made the Hilton look good. Lost 17 of my group. By 72, it was just me. I was not gonna die in a fucking swamp! Come on. 
boats. to the gunboats. Okay, Mason, we're clear. Open up the container. Give me a hand with this, Mason. Come on, man! Are you in there, brother? Bodies have badly decomposed. These men have been dead for weeks. Woods? Frank? Frank! It's me! It's me, Mason! What did they do to him, Hudson? Turn around and fire at the targets. No aim down the site yet. I'm trying to make a point. Just fire from the hip. From the hip, right? Just to get the move. No aim down the site yet. I'm trying to make a point here. Just fire from the hip. From the hip, Private. Just like in the mood. You see what I mean? He sprayed bullets all over the damn place. You've got to pick your targets by aiming deliberately down your sights from a stable stance. Private Allen, show our friends here how the Rangers take down a target. Crouch first, then aim down your sight at the target. Private Allen, aim down your sights before engaging the target. Don't forget to aim down your sight, Private. Now, if your target is behind light cover, remember that certain weapons can penetrate and hit your target. That's all there is to it. You want your targets to go down? You gotta aim down your sights. The private here will demonstrate. Private, hit the target through the wood panel. Private Allen, hit the target through the wood panel. Private, hit the target through the wood panel. Private Allen, hit the target through the wood panel. Private, hit the target through the wood panel. Hit the target through the wood panel. Private, hit the target through the wood panel. Private Allen, hit the target through the wood panel. Private, hit the target through the wood panel.
Hit the target through the wood panel. Last but not least, you need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Private Allen, pick up some frag grenades from the table. The wood panel. Last but not least, you need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Private Allen, pick up some frag grenades from the table. Toss the grenade down the range to take out several targets at once. Note that frags tend to roll on sloped surfaces. So think twice before tossing one up here. All right. Thanks for the help, Private Allen. Now get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. All right. Who wants to go first? Show me what you've learned so far. Welcome back to the pit. <laughs> Heard General Shepard wants to pull a shooter from our unit for some special op. Anyway, he's up there in observation. All right, try switching to your rifle. Good, now switch to your sidearm again. You see how fast that was? Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Well, smile for the cameras and don't miss. Shepard's gonna be watching. Best shooter gets to join the prima donna squad. If that's your thing. Okay, head on in. Timer starts as soon as the first time. Go, go, go! Time by six seconds yesterday. Stop firing from the head! Stay on your sight! Just switch to your other weapon! Faster than reloading! and regroup with your team where you can go back in and run the course again. All Hunter units, get to your victor. We're headed out. military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes, a time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work.
Tower copy. Uh, I have uh, Demo 1 1, flight of 2, F 16s online, stand by for relay. Hunter 2 1, this is Devil 1 1, flight of 2 F 15s, time on station 1 5 mics, holding at 3 Sierra Northwest, holding area knife, carrying 2 J bands and 2 arms, over. Standing by. Devil 1 1, target in the white 12 story apartment building in grid 252171. I need you to level that building. I'll copy on the bridge, time to die. Multiple targets, take them out! Solid copy, Hunter 2 1. Rolling in now. Target acquired.
secure the top floor. Move, move. Same as when you asked me ten seconds. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. 
You just got to know the right people, and you're all set, because you know me. where I'm going to sleep. Yep. All yours. Thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive away. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. That's a nice and drive, it is. Some idiot just drove hey, into us. We'll bring him in. Be careful. Copy that. Hey, watch out! Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retired, please. How are you? The uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. <laughs> 